Good morning everybody, it's Mindy and um, welcome, welcome to my channel and happy Friday morning. It is a lovely Friday morning here. Sun shining, not a cloud in the sky. It's beautiful and I have something absolutely beautiful to show you. It is a sneak peek for tomorrow, Saturday, the, uh, what's the date tomorrow? The 30th. <laughs> so I have something great here. You're, you're going to want to see it. All right, let's get into it. It is a square diamond painting. It is available on their website at nine in the morning Pacific Standard Time if you're a Ruby or Diamond member. That is 12 Eastern Standard Time. There is a general release a half an hour later. All right, okay, let's get into this. This is gorgeous. I had to look up this artist because I wasn't sure if this artist had other paintings with Diamond Art Club, and she does. She has two others, and one of them was just a couple weeks ago. I think they're both pretty recent, actually. But one I really, really liked and almost purchased. It was a hummingbird by a branch of flowers. It was very pretty. Let me show you what we have. This is what I have to show you today. The artist is Wanda Mum, and this one is called Wind Dancers. Um, you're not going to be able to see very much in that picture because there's a lot going on and we'll get into it. I'll talk to you about it. But it is a square diamond painting. The drills are square. Um, and the size on this one is 70 centimeters by 88 centimeters. Look at that beautiful field of flowers. And you can see a hummingbird there. Let's talk about that in a minute. So apparently Wanda likes hummingbirds. <laughs> um, that other painting she did with the hummingbird was absolutely gorgeous. I thought about it. I really did. I did not get that one, but um, very, very pretty. So let's see what's in the toolkit, and then we'll move on to the painting. Let's get everything out here and show you what we have. Oh, my waxy thing came apart. So here's your wax caddy. <laughs> you have a wax caddy with two heart-shaped waxes. They're normally in here. And the lid is on there, but my lid came off and things popped out. So the lid, the case, keeps it all nice and clean and hair free and all of that good stuff. So that's our wax. Ooh, look at this pen. I like this pen color. It's like a turquoise. I like that. That's cool. So the pen and the squishy match. There's sparkles in the pen. That's a cool color. I don't think I've ever had that one. I like that. We get the tweezers that say Diamond Art Club on them. They're pointy tweezers have a nice cap to protect your tweezers, protect you from the tweezers, all that good stuff, all right? All right, we have a bag of baggies. If you like to save your drills in baggies, here's baggies for you. If you like to kit up in baggies, there's baggies, all right? And then we have our tray. Here's our tray. The clear boat with the gold flex in there, and it comes with a stopper, all right? They got, they've been putting the stoppers in here. See, they do it that way. Can you see what I'm doing? No, it's blurring out. They do it like this when they put it in there. I always like it this way, <laughs> but that's up to you how you do it. Anyhow, then you can put a little label there. It would be a small label, but you could put a label on the end if you wanted. So there's that. It comes with two multi-placers, a four-placer and a seven-placer. They're the white thin ones. These work great for multi-placing, love those. And then the rest of the goodies that comes with this, these are the fun things as we call them, is a washi tape, nice washi tape with blue stars on it, I like that. And then your cover minder, you get a cover minder and I have a butterfly, a pretty purple and gold glistening butterfly as your magnets on the back that will hold your plastic cover back so it doesn't keep flopping in your way. Um, they're doing a nice job with their cover minders. I like them. They're very nice. It comes in this nice bag to keep it all clean and dry and all of that. Very protected. You got to love that. All right. I saved the bag. I put it right back in there just in case. I have no idea what that was. Did you hear that pop? It scared me. I don't know what that was at all. <laughs> Anyhow, um, here's our canvas. It is a soft back canvas. We have the scalloped edges. We have little holes poked in there so it will not fray. 
it's poured glue um, and you can roll this backwards. This will flatten out super quickly for you. And I'm just going to roll it backwards real quick to get everything out of the inside for us and to make sure it's going to lay down really quick so we can get a good look at it. All right. You don't have to do this. Some people ask, why do you roll it backwards? Well, it helps it to lay down real quick and it just helps me to get everything out of the inside. <laughs> but that's the nice thing about their canvases. They do flatten out very nice, very quickly. All right. All right. What do we have? Oh, the colors are going to be beautiful. The colors are going to be gorgeous. Look at this. Mm. Look at that bundle of colors. Look at the purples and pinks. Oh my gosh. Those are my colors. Love it. Love it. And it has wind dancers and it says there's a number. S for square and ABs. It comes with ABs. Yes. All right. What else did we get? We have our information pamphlet. There's tips and tricks and how to diamond paint. There's a code. There's information about the VIP group, their app, all kinds of good stuff in here. Um, if you have never purchased from Diamond Art Club before, I do have a code. It is 10 off Mindy. would save you $10 off your very first purchase at Diamond Art Club. After that, you can find codes on your canvas, in your box, in the VIP group. Save yourself money when you purchase from Diamond Art Club. Then when you start buying from Diamond Art Club, you can earn points and you save those points up and that will earn you money off future canvases. This is stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. So, uh-huh. Look at here. Wind Dancer by Wanda Mum. This is a sticker sheet. You could put this in your log book. You could put your start and end date if you keep track of those things. Here is our thumbnail picture. Look at the flowers. Oh my goodness. We have hollyhocks, delphiniums, all kinds of gorgeous flowers in there. And hummingbirds. More than one hummingbird. Mm -hmm. um, here's the size, all of the dimensions. And here are our individually peelable sticker labels. You can label your containers that you kit up in with those. Super nice to have those. Look at our symbols. There are 63 colors, 63 blues, pinks, purples. Look at all those purples. Those are my favorite players right there. 208, 209, 210. Do we have 550? Of course we have 550. My favorite purples. Yay. Anything under 150 with Diamond Art Club is an AB. So we'll go under the 150 mark. So it looks like we have five. 135, green, 131, maybe an orangish color. 127 looks like it's pink, 126 purple, 101 a blue. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I love it. Okay, are you ready? Because I know that I am, we got things to talk about. First of all, let's look up close at this drill field. Look at these flowers. I'm telling you what, Diamond Art Club does flowers perfectly. I love the way their flowers are rendered and the way the flowers turn out. There's usually ABs in the flowers, and I can see that there are here. Four is an AB. I'm going to assume it's an AB. Three looks like the one AB. One looks like the white AB. Look at how the flowers are going to look. They're going to be so pretty, and they're so many, <laughs> right? Now, this canvas, it has, you can multi place a bit, but you're not going to get a huge section of color blocking where you get to do all one color. You're going to get what I call line blocking. You get three, four, five in a row. But this is going to be fairly filled with confetti. You know, you'll get like G's across here and some C's up here for a stem, but a lot of color changing with these because there's so many colors. All right. Do you see what I see already? All right. First of all, oh, before we go, before we do that, here's our information about our kit, all the licensing, the size, it's all on there. Okay, let's start to look at this. Um, I see a hummingbird. Do you see that one? There's a hummingbird. You see this one over here? Mm-hmm. That's two, right? Did you think there was just a couple hummingbirds? <laughs> okay. How about this one right here? Can you see him? Okay. That's three, right? Mm-hmm. I'm going to go backwards for a second before I show you the whole thing. How about this guy? How many hummingbirds are there, Mindy? I don't know. That's four, right? That's four. How about this guy? 
five, six, seven, eight. Uh, is that it? Is that it? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, it's not. <laughs> How about nine, ten, and eleven? How about eleven? How's that sound? <laughs> right? I know when I first looked at the picture, when they sent me the rendering or the picture of it, I was like, oh, it's got some hummingbirds. Those are so cute. And then I started looking further and further and I was like, some hummingbirds? Mm hmm. So then I made it my mission to figure out how many hummingbirds there were and they just kept popping out. This thing is really long for um, it, it's it's a um, portrait orientation and it goes across my entire kitchen counter here yeah it's it's a it's a tall one it's tall <laughs> but look how pretty this is isn't it gorgeous look at all of these flowers and then all of the hummingbirds just flitting around to all of the different flowers to get a little nectar isn't it beautiful i can't tell you how pretty this is and these flowers We've got pink flowers, red flowers, blue flowers, purples. Those are hollyhocks for sure. This has got to be delphinium. It's just gorgeous. And then all the little fun, hidden little hummingbirds throughout. I love it. We have a legend over here. All of our symbols, all of our colors are listed here, all 63. And there's one over here as well. Now, for those of you who do like to do some color blocking, here you go. Here you can color block up in the sky. So you'll get to do some multi-placing, big swaths. Is that the word I'm looking for? A swath of color in the sky. Down here, though, it's going to be just a lot of different mixes of colors. I love it. It's beautiful. What do you think? I think it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. We're going to look at the drills and then we're going to look for ABs. And I believe our ABs, they are there one, two, three, four, and five, which is nice. I appreciate that they do their ABs in numerical order like this. It makes them easy to find on your canvas, especially when I want to show them to you. Like the twos in here, which are going to be purple in the purple flowers. Mm, love it. Love it. Love it. Let's look at these drills. Oh my gosh, these colors. Mm. All right, got to make some noise. If these colors don't have my name written all over them, I don't know what does, right? <laughs> all right, here we go. I'm going to zoom you in so we can look at these drills. All right. 157 is like a periwinkle. That's what I would call that color. Some beautiful pinks. 800 blue. Two of those. There's one green. We're going to have a lot of greens as well. A beautiful pink. One, two, three, 987 greens. 500, which is like a really, really super dark gray color. What I would call that is gray. Beautiful blue. 986 green. We have three. One, two, three. Here's a couple more grays. 414. A couple more pinks. This one's gorgeous. 600 is one of my favorite pinks. Oh, I love that one. And here's our first AB. It is blue. And a lot of them. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So it's a pretty, and I've always called this color cornflower. Not cone, but corn flower. It's a particular flower, and that's the shade I think of. Oh my gosh, how pretty. AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It's an iridescent coating on those drills. Look at the colors. Look at it. I see pink and yellow and green shining through those. They're going to sparkle, and they put them in the flowers perfectly. Because in my mind, all flowers need some ABs, because when that sunlight hits it, maybe there's a little dew on it. The petals shimmer and shine and I just think all flowers need some ABs. If they don't have them, I put some in there. <laughs> so like I said, Diamond Art Club does that right. They got that. All right, let's keep going. Oh my goodness. <gasps> I don't know what color this is. I don't think I've ever had it before, but it is 3747 and it is this beautiful pale lilac color. 
It's gorgeous. And there are one, two, that one's got something weird in it, three, four, four bags of that. And then this is kind of the same color. Um, this one's a little more pinkish, but it's $37.43. That's beautiful. One, two, three, four of those. Those are fantastic. Love it. 603 pink. Then we have some more grays, light and dark. A beautiful blue. A couple more gray. There's a lot of gray. I wouldn't have thought there was. Well, I think all of this background behind the flowers is going to be gray in there. That makes sense. Makes sense. All right. Let's keep it going. We have more beautiful colors. Two 3841s. Pretty blue there. 601. This whole family of the 600 pinks, they're gorgeous. Here's my 209 and 208, some of my favorite purples. Although, I don't know, those beautiful lilacs I just showed you. Mm. Here's 127 AB. That's a beautiful pink, very light pink. It's gorgeous. Love it. Another purple, a red, another blue. That's a burgundy color. 814 is a very deep burgundy. A little off-white, tan. There's my 550 purple. Yay! <laughs> Pinks, red, more true red, orangier red, rustier red. You, you know, you get what I'm meaning. 312 is a pretty blue. Look at these. Gorgeous. All right. Oh, we got another fairly hefty strip here. What color is this? Gray? I think that's a very light gray. It almost takes on a hint of blue, but it's really a light gray. There's two of those. A couple more greens. Some dark gray. And there's 210 purple. Like I told you, all my favorite purples, I think they're here. Yeah. All right. Last strip. Here we go. There's another purple. <laughs> Some browns. Here's a green. A bright green, 135. Salmon. Orange. A pink. 890 green. Another pink. Just a tan color, a little bit of purple. Purple AB, yeah. We already know where those go. <laughs> uh, red, brown, a little bit of yellow AB. This is a darker yellow, more of an orangey yellow. Super pretty, love that one. A couple browns, grays. Let's finish off with some greens and like a brown. All right, it's gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. All right, like I said, one, two, three, four, and five. Fives. Fives. Let's start with fives. They're that bright green. It usually pops right off the canvas. So it's going to be used in all of the greenery. The leaves. Um, there's some there. Here. So they're just kind of speckled around. All right. Speckled throughout the leaves and stuff. Let's see. Are there some down here? Yep. Some in the leaves here, down at the bottom here. Uh, let's see, where else do we see them? Mm -mm -mm. There's some over here on those leaves. Just throughout in, you know, certain little places in the, in the foliage, in the leaves there. How about way up top? Yep, yeah, way up top here we got a bunch. I'm just going to kind of keep rolling this up and unrolling it to show you. So we have some, we have some fives in here. That's the green. Over here, here, places like that. All right, so that's that green color. Then we have the four, which is that orangish yellow. They're using that for the centers of the flowers. Pretty much any larger flower that has a yellow center is going to get ABs, and that's wonderful. Even these over here, they have some as well. That's perfect, absolutely perfect. All the way down to these at the bottom down here. Mm -hmm. So I'm here. See them, see them, see them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> over here where we first started and we saw them over here at the very beginning. I love those. Then we have three, which is, what was three? The white? Is there a white? I don't remember. What was three? I think it's a white. Yeah. So that's also in like the centers of the flowers. And the blue flower, where it doesn't have a yellow center, it has a white center. 
we get ABs there. Oh, look, they're using it around the edge of this flower. Oh, and throughout these pinks, that's gorgeous, gorgeous. Or is that the pink? That's pink, right? Oh my gosh. Let's see. There was a pink and a purple. Okay, so those are pink. No. Okay. Okay, I apologize. There's what was what I was looking for. It is this light pink. I thought it looks white on the canvas, but it's it's pink. Like the symbol over there on the legend looked like it was white. But I forgot. It is a light pink. Sorry. Sometimes, you know, you got five ABs. You can't remember them all. <laughs> so that's pink. That makes sense. Um, and it was number three. Yeah, number three. So we're actually getting like pink centers here in these flowers, not white. And there's just a few. But then all of the pink flowers, and that's what makes sense. That's why I was like, no, it's not white, is it? All of these edges along the flowers get a little pink AB here, here, um, here, here's some. Mm, where else? Up in the up in the flowers here we have some. They're just kind of all around these pink flowers. And then what about if we go way up here? Do we get some up here? Of course we do. Here and here and here. They're kind of all over those pink flowers. The twos are the purple. That one I knew for sure. <laughs> I had that one because, you know, purple. And that's all through the purple flowers here. All right. And the last one was that blue. So the blue is number one, and it's all the blue flowers get some, um, all of these here. Where else? Where else? Where else? Um, how about these? Are there any here? Um, nope, that's a T. So there's no ones on that flower there. There are some here though, in this flower. That's this one didn't get any. This one did. This guy got some, though, over here. This little guy, he got some. <laughs> so the ones are, you know, they're in the blue flowers. Not all of the blue flowers. Actually, the hummingbird got some right there. And this blue flower, that gets some of the blue ABs. It's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Let's zoom you out so you can see it again, the full thing. Uh, you're missing a little bit down here at the bottom because, I mean, literally... It goes from here <laughs> and then all the way up there to the sky. <laughs> so it is gorgeous. Thank you, Diamond Art Club, for sending this. It is stunning. It's wow. Um, let me know what you think. And remember, it is available tomorrow. If you are um, loving this as much as I do, you know you're going to have to have it, right? So thank you so much for watching. And I hope you enjoy. I hope you have a great day. And um, I hope your world can be pretty like this, you know? I love watching my hummingbirds. They're so much fun. I love it. All right, I will talk to everybody soon. Have a great day.